In this video, we're going to talk about how you can challenge yourself just the right amount so you don't get overwhelmed or traumatize yourself or you don't get stuck and are able to grow at the pace which is best for you. And if this is the first time that we meet, I'm Jonas Erb and on this channel we talk about authenticity and personal growth. We provide tools and ideas that help you gain clarity, freedom and fulfillment in your life. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing. This is actually a kind of personal topic to me because I started to challenge myself a lot at a certain point in my life and then I also got into the stage where I overwhelmed myself way too much and then I got into a stage where I wasn't challenging myself enough or not enough for my liking and I learned a lot about this process of challenging myself and how I can grow most in the right by using the right amount of challenge and let's see explore this topic a little bit by making an example of let's say you want to hold a speech in front of people it's something you would like to do but then you actually uh, set up a speech in front of 300 people and you realize that it's actually way too much tension for you you actually do the speech and then middle of the speech like you're really shut down like it's so difficult emotionally that you're disconnected from your body disconnected from your heart and you're on this stage so like full of like adrenaline adrenaline and at some point you have a blackout and you just run off the stage because it's too much tension for you to handle so what's that gonna create? That's gonna create like this kind of trauma um, with respect to holding a speech in front of people because it was so difficult and so much to handle and it turned out so bad that you would kind of never wanna go back into that situation. And this could happen if the same like could happen with like talking to a friend about a difficult topic by it being too much of a challenge and you're kind of like shutting down and not being able to really open yourself up and stay open in, in your body and in your, in your heart challenging yourself in this intense way and saying this to the person and they react really badly then you kind of get this this idea that this is a very bad thing to do and so uh, this could even happen uh, if you like work out and you challenge yourself too much to like you put maybe you use too much weight or whatever and then you realize that you're not really connected anymore with what's what's good for you and you you kind of hurt yourself and your body is going to be like that was too much and then you're afraid to actually go to that much weight or just challenging yourself in that in that sense so that's really um, what's usually happening when you overwhelm yourself with a challenge that's too much is that first the situation oftentimes actually turns out really bad and or you disconnect in your heart and in your body you disconnect kind of from yourself because it's too much emotion to handle and you don't feel able you can handle that you turn down and close down and that is also going to translate into the situation turning out in a different way than it did if you were able to stay open which makes it more likely to turn into a situation that's kind of bad or traumatizing. And what could also happen is by being disconnected but forcing yourself through your willpower to go into certain situations, then you would feel like you have the confidence to go into certain situations, but you're only able to do that because you're shutting down your body, which could lead to you developing confidence, which is too much for actually how much you could handle emotionally and still staying open in your body and your heart. The other extreme of the spectrum is you not challenging yourself enough for your liking because you're avoiding challenging situations and that often the root cause for that is often that at some point in your life you challenge yourself too much and you created some kind of trauma or some kind of anxiety about challenging yourself that now you don't challenge yourself enough or at all because you're too afraid and in both cases, the first step for me would really to be to start to learn to feel yourself and feel the tension and feel the fear or whatever kind of emotion, excitement, whatever kind of emotion is coming up when you, challenging your, when you challenge yourself or when you think about challenging yourself and get more aware of this feeling. Let's say you're in a seminar and there's a lot of people and they are open to question and you have a question in your mind and you would like to ask it but it feels like, oh my God, there's so much of a pressure to actually ask that question because there's so many people watching, then go and feel that feeling, feel that tension, feel how does that feel, this challenge inside of my body, and then learn to really be honest with yourself. What is the right amount of tension that I can really handle? And what is too much to handle? And by being more aware of that, 
you're then able to actually in the situations where it is the right amount of challenge to actually be more able to do that because you have the confidence that actually I know I can handle this and so it's also more likely to actually turn out well and you're going to be able to grow from that because you're able to stay open in your body and your heart. To actually learn and practice this more, I invite you to do a tension journal, which is kind of a journal where you write down when you go about your day, any kind of challenging situations or maybe even some thoughts of like doing something, like how much tension does that create in you and rate it from one to 10, like one being almost no tension, very easy and 10 being impossible to do. And then on the scale, just see where is the right amount of tension for you that you can just about handle and where is it too much and then by just writing this down and really when you write it down just feel inside of yourself you get more aware of this process of how tension feels in your body and how that feels when you challenging challenge yourself and then focus on the things that are a little bit below that tension um, maximum maybe focus on the twos or threes if like you have a five if five is the max then focus on the twos or threes and sometimes when you feel ready just do a five something that's just at the edge of what you can handle but mostly focus on never doing too much tension because that's gonna overwhelm you and the interesting thing about this is that you start to get more aware of the process that's going on and through that you're able you're more able to really relax into the tension and gradually by actually challenging yourself in the right amount you're going to be able to expand the capacity of you to handle tension and to challenge yourself and if you are able to uh, choose the right situation let's say you have a speech and you instead of choosing 300 people maybe you just do a speech in front of 10 people or 15 people or whatever you can handle and you get that reference experience of, of it being okay and then you can gradually increase and through that you learn and grow the fastest to make this even more personal i want to tell you a bit of my story about handling tension and how i learned to really apply this in my life so at some point in my life, I really wanted to challenge myself and grow a lot. I did a lot of like comfort zone challenges or uh, holding a speech in front of people or maybe uh, talking to uh, a girl that I liked and, and, and just uh, making a compliment and stuff that was challenging for me. I just went and did it. But I realized at some point that I developed this crazy confidence because I was able to go into so challenging situations. But at some point I realized that I wasn't able to handle the emotions so I actually shut down in those situations and then I created a confidence that was more of what I could actually emotionally handle and stay open to and that led to situations of me then realizing that I was able to push myself into the challenge but I wasn't really able to grow from the challenge but it more kind of traumatized me and made it more difficult for me to actually really go into same uh, similar situations because I was so shut down that the situations didn't really turn out the way that I wanted them to and so then I got into this period of just avoiding tension because I was afraid of it and I didn't really challenge myself at all because I created all these traumas about around certain situations and I avoided tension and so then I started to realize that what is the really root cause behind that and that is really not being able to stay open in the heart and body when I'm challenging myself and finding that sweet spot of when I'm still able to stay open in my heart and in my body and actually going into the tension being open and so I can actually feel how what is created in terms of emotion in me and I can process that all of that fear I can feel it I can be present with that and, and I can relax into that and so that fear is going to actually transform and so I'm going to be able to let go of all the resistance inside of me to actually do the challenge and just be in that, in that difficult situation. And so through that, I can actually let all the fear and anxiety come up and be processed because I can handle the situation and be present with it. And through that, I really grow the most because I learn to let this stuff that wants to come out and be processed, which is holding me back from actually just naturally doing what I would like to do. I learned to process that and stay in connection with that instead of overwhelming myself and creating a trauma or avoiding to go to that feeling 
because I don't want to feel the fear. And so that really sped up a lot my process of, um, you know, growth because I was able to do the right amount of challenge to grow. But being honest, it's definitely a very uh, difficult thing. And also sometimes I'm still in avoidance or doing too much, but it really was an eye opener for me. So I wanted to share this with you. Let me know in the comments, do you tend to overwhelm yourself and challenge yourself too much? Or do you tend to avoid challenge and not challenge yourself enough for your liking? And once you apply these ideas, let me know if your relationship with tension has changed and how. And if you liked the video, please hit the like button. And I really invite you to support my channel by subscribing to my channel and turn on notifications by pressing on the notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos are going to come out. And there are other videos on this channel about similar topics that I would invite you to check out. In this one, I'm talking about how to deal with fight, flight, freeze response when you're in a challenging or difficult situation. And in this video, I'm talking about how to be able to deal with tension and challenging situations by grounding yourself and learning to relax in those situations. So have fun watching and have a great day.